Listen up, Rangers. Welcome to the Geek Chest. My name's Steve. My name's Arnaz. And today in Action Figure News, there's not going to be a lot of pictures because none of this stuff is up for pre-order and nothing official. So, But it's going to be a long one, you guys. <laughs> there's well, a lot to talk sort about. Sort of. There's a but lot. We'll start with the one we can do pictures because finally, finally, <laughs> the X-Plus Gigantic Shin Godzilla is up for pre-order. And I don't know if I'm getting it anymore. Super sad. Why, Steve? Because. Why? No, no, go go ahead. He's a little. Crush everyone else's dreams and hope. He's a little pricey. Hope. Well, for as high though, it's not an exclusive like everything else Shin Godzilla. You can buy it on Hobby Search right now. Well, pre-order. Anyways. Yeah, you know why? Because they were like, oh, man. <laughs> we feel sorry. Well, they have to sell it somehow. They're not going to be able to sell it. Oh, the, it's going to sell. Don't worry. Problem is, just... It's going to be hard for me. Dep I guess it depends how G-Fest goes. Because uh, right now it retails for, uh, I think, slightly over $600. You can get it for less if you pre-order it. Uh, like most of the Japanese sites, they usually do some kind of discount. Like Hobby Search, I think it's like 580 ish But it's like 630 I think. Something like that. I don't I don't remember the official, but it was like 580 But it'll probably be, it's going to be an expensive boy to ship because he's huge. Like gigantic. Literally gigantic. It's gonna cost you about hundred dollars to ship it. So you're talking about six eighty easily. Yeah, I'm like I don't know if it's, I don't know if he's gonna be that high, but I think what was it? I think my gigantic sixty two was like sixty bucks, like sixty ish. But he wasn't as big. Like he was self contained, which was nice. I don't think this guy's gonna be a self contained box. <laughs> he's a long guy. His tail's gonna be huge. <sighs> and the price. Granted, higher than I thought it'd be. Uh, isn't as big of an issue, or wouldn't be as big of an issue, if it didn't come out in September. Like, everything else on my pre-order list. Everything, for some odd reason, comes out in September. Because there's, like, Ultraman Gamora, or, like, the Ultra SH Figure Arts Gamora, Michelangelo, and, uh, the Chi-Chi I got on order. There's a couple other things I can't think of off the top of my head, but I remember the... The September list is pretty long. I think it was a Figma that comes out in September. Yeah, the two uh, re-e's come out in September. Is that too. September? Oh yeah. yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> There's another hundo, and it's just like the, the timing is horrible for that. I was hoping it was gonna come out like Christmas-ish, <laughs> at least November. And even then, that would have been kind of hard. Well, look at it this way, Steve. You can make a wish list, and somebody will buy it for you. <laughs> Go fund me so you can, I can get my gigantic shit. Please. You would be <sighs> negative. <laughs> I would owe people money for it. Yeah. Just for <sighs> wasting their time. Yeah, so that sucks. Um, I'm gonna, like, depend, like, again, it depends on G-Fest goes. I think it's gonna be, though, like, if I see a standard shin, I'm probably just gonna get that. Just call it a day. Please don't find one, so I want to see Steve spend $700 on the toy. Because I think, was a uh, Kamada-kun comes out around then, too? Yeah. So, that sucks. I imagine they're going to probably put up a Shinigawa-kun sometime soon, too. And probably be fudge in September. <sighs> Sometimes I hate X-Plus, because it's one of those, like, they announce something. Oh, yeah, this is uh, the six, uh, 75 Godzilla. He's September. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, why? Can we, can we get some better news? Can we talk about some better stuff? Okay, so stuff I will definitely be trying to get. But from here on out, we're not going to have pictures. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Because there's nothing officially up for pre order. I'm not taking other people's photos. You can find this stuff on like Facebook groups, like super articulated uh, action figure groups, uh, the Godzilla groups, stuff like that. They'll show up. Um, but, anyways. Uh, Bandai Tamashi has officially announced that they're going to be putting out more Ultraman Orb figures in the figure arts line. I said something better, damn it. Well, it's like my favorite Ultraman show now. I Ultra love who? Ultraman. I thought you thought... I, I'm sorry, I thought you liked Ultra Boys. My bad. I don't think there is an Ultra Boy. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. I'm not quite as familiar as I should be, but I don't think there is one. But yeah, so Somebody's they're doing... going to be in the comments. There is Steve Google. It. Steve, it. Google's Steve Google's and it's just a porn. Well, oh. there is like little kid alt versions of them. 
Like oh, really? God, yeah. I think it was um, oh, Ultraman Ginga has a Ultraman Taro, but he's like a little kid, and he's talking to uh. Does that have like a Ultraman. kid's voice? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I was just like, that's a weird one. But yeah, so they're doing Ultraman Orb figures. They're doing. They're actually putting out each form now. So that'd be super cool because there's even a Thunder Beaster. I need that one. And uh, Juggler. Thunder Cloud? Thunder Beaster. Thunder Cloud. It's Thunder Beaster. I've heard of that. I heard Thunder Cloud before. But he's the cool one. He's the one where he fuses with Belial. He's all like hulked out Roy Rage. And then gets beat by a guy in a suit. Yeah. <laughs> but he's a guy in a suit too, so I guess it all makes sense. Is he Iron Man? No, that's the manga one. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so they're going to be putting out those. Those look really good. Uh, I'll be sure trying to get all of them. As long as none of them are exclusives, I'll grab them. There'll be one or two exclusive. I think they'll be fine. Juggler might be the weird one. Or they put out like more of the kaijus. Oh, that'd be cool. I doubt they'll put out the kaijus, at least anytime soon. Well, they'll put the, put the Ultraman out. And then if they sell, then they might. Uh, some other stuff is they sh showed off some Pacific Rim figures. About damn time. Most exciting is they have the Pacific Rim 2 Jaeger. Uh, God, I can't remember its name, though. It's Gypsy Avenger, I think is what it was. Yeah. yeah Gypsy Avenger. Avengers Assemble. <clears throat> which there is going to be a model kit and a robot spirits. Which is odd. Model kit sucks. <laughs> Well, I seen the blueprint for it. I was like, huh? No, I seen it. They were like, here's the model kit. And like, it's like falling off its display. It's just kind of like laying there in defeat. It was hilarious. So like, I still don't even know so what it really looks like. Battle damage? <laughs> yeah. Awesome. There you go. Like, I swear, half my Jaegers are not 100% anymore. At least in terms of quality. Did you see the kaijus have to fight in this room? They would break you know what's sad is none of the kaijus are damaged except for the giant one. I don't know why his foot came off, but it just did. It didn't fall or anything. It just randomly was just like, hey, cool, he was, I don't want to stand anymore. He was in a Saw movie. <laughs> yeah, well, literally, like, it came off clean. Like, it, it broke. But it's like, he, he just stands there. How does it break? You know what? Getting off track. But the Gypsy Avenger looks cool. I like those robot spirits because in scale-wise, it'll look cooler with the Kaijus. Uh, at least with, like, your Godzilla's and stuff because he'll be a little smaller. Because I imagine if they would have made him, like, a Monster Arts mecha, he would have been bigger. Yeah. That might have been kind of weird for scaling. Then if they do decide to put out Monster Arts Kaijus, even though that'd be kind of conflicting, since they're robot spirits and then you have a different toy line with different monsters, but they could go bigger with them. So does that mean they won't make no Kaijus, though? That's what I would guess. Like, they could. Oh, that would suck. They still could. Like, it would make sense that they would just make them Monster Arts. But... It's just odd that they just wouldn't make the Jaegers monster arts then. Or even figure arts. Because they do kite, they do kite, uh, the Ultraman Kaijus as figure arts. Yeah. But then again, all those guys have been pretty humanoid. Like, the, the only one that's not would be uh, Gamora. <sighs> that's confusing. Yeah, it, it's weird choice, but I do like the, the idea that it's a robot spirit. And then there's also the Solo Shogokan Gypsy Danger, which looks like a thing of beauty. And I want it. I don't even really care for Shogokans that much, but I need it. Why? Your lock will come with broken parts already. Well, that was kind of used, and it was a really old Shogokan, so I understand, but they weren't very good. Like, they were fine. But just, like, the, the accessories sucked a lot. But Big O was cool. I really like my Big O one. And I haven't really gotten, like, a new, new one. Travis likes them. <laughs> but anyways, uh, but the Gypsy Danger looks really cool. Detail-wise, it looks about on par with the NECA. Like, of course, it's cleaner. And the paint job looks nice. They don't have dice cast parts. So it looks a lot fancier. Like, the pistons, I don't know if they work, but they look like they could. Which would be kind of cool. But it can be deceiving. Yeah, like, looks-wise, if you guys, like, have seen, like, hand me that guy. Oh, you're making me get up. No, you just hit Be the guy on the floor. Yeah. 
Thank you. Flux Lies, it's about as good as this one. The gigantic. Like, some of the lining is a lot cleaner on what we've seen of the Shigokin, but, like, parts and size-wise, well, not size, but, like, the way things are shaped, like this. The die cast. Some of it, anyways. I don't imagine all of it. Sweet. So this way, if you ever get out of line, when I hit you with something, it'll hurt. Yeah. Well, he'll be upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> the American stuff's down here. Sorry. Sorry, Giant Gypsy. And then finally, we'll actually end this with one with pictures. But uh, NECA's going to be putting out a 30th anniversary Alien 2-pack. Where you get Carter and a warrior alien with the Headley's Hope sign. I want it. I don't know how I feel about it, because I really don't need a Carter in my life. I do. I only want it because I want the damn sign. I want it because of him. Really? Why? I hate that guy. Even, like, in the movies, like, as soon as I met him, like, I hated him. So we need somebody that aliens can just kill. It's just, it's just everybody, like, just all the predators are around him just... Yeah. <laughs> that that, that, that would be, like, one of the pictures, just... Every single predator. I'll even bring my predators over. I'll just be a Got gang. This. It'll just be like a gang bang of like fifteen predators. Just be like just a predator bukkake. <laughs> <laughs> All over. Him. Oh, that's so bad. Oh, uh, but yeah, like it's cool. Um, I don't know. It's like if I seen it at a store, maybe forty four bucks though. Oh. Forty five. Thank you. Oh, God. still. Uh, cause yeah, it's like, do I need another warrior? No. Do I want to sign? Possibly. The other guy? Maybe. Props are cool. Again, like, stuff that, like, the figures can pose with and things, I'm all for. But, like, it's like, but it's Carter. Eh. <laughs> can we get A-Palm? I know it's a copyright thing, so they can't do A-Palm, but I want A-Palm. He's my favorite. For, if I do get that guy to picture up there for the review, will we just be, like, 15 predators stabbing him? Uh... No, it's going to be 15 Predators and a single sour cream. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's going to be. <laughs> well, if we're going down, we got to get the fancy, the squeeze bottle sour cream, you know. Oh, boy, oh, boy. <laughs> I can't get myself fancy. <laughs> That's so wrong. Uh, but yeah, it's so right. Um, But I'm super excited about the Pacific Rim toys. i seen those, and I was like... My damn time. Yeah, like, it's cool that it's a Shigokin. He'll be kind of big, though. He's kind of pricey, though. It'd be nice if he, like, was the same size as the NECA, so he would still look really good with the, uh, the Kaijus. That would be cool. Well, maybe in a reference scale, these Kaiju monsters will be smaller, since they were the old movie. Oh, no, I mean, like, the Gypsy Danger. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, if because the Gypsy Danger is not in the second one. Gypsy Avengers replacing Gypsy Danger. It's the same thing. You just don't put a thing at the end of it and call it, expect it to be something else. Uh, yeah. If it was Arnaz Gabra, you'd be something else, too. It's not happening, thank God. <laughs> I still look, like, we had enough votes. I think you should have to go do it. <laughs> no. <laughs> but you know what I'll do, Steve? Get enough vote. I'll get, like, tattoo Gabra right here below. Right here. Just... Gabra, right here. Which is minions. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, ah. It's electrocuting, I'm just ah, going down. Ah, that's what I'm going to do. If I get enough money, because there's going to be a lot of money, if I get enough money somehow, I will get a tattoo of Gabra and a Sith Lord thing, and he's just electrocuting Minya. <laughs> <sighs> My mom always wanted me to get a Minya tattoo. That's what I'm going to do. It'll be just like him right here. A hole like a sleeve, and he'd be like this. I'd have to lose weight first before I can get him a tattoo. Which means it's not happening. Oh. That'd be shit. <laughs> but I like food, and it likes me. At least I think it does. Steve, I lost 42 pounds, you son of a bitch. Why can't you? Well, yeah, because I, I took it over. Just, just like shit. Yeah, it over. Just, <laughs> I absorbed it like mana. Mm, man. <laughs> uh, God. There's like something else and I can't think of it. I think it was like it was some anime related. There's Rem and Rem. 
beach versions. That's it. Okay, we lie. There's a, one more thing too. Uh, for um, the anime Re Zero, you can actually now pre-order Ram and Ram in bathing suits. Who ordered him? Let me see show of hands. No, you didn't. No, I didn't. I did. <laughs> I kind of do. But it's like the Figmas are good enough for me, so... They were only cool. $20 each. I had to. Yeah, they're pretty inexpensive. Yeah, and like the one in the picture was like, she's like this. I was like... Sold. <laughs> <laughs> Take my money. No. But now, I'm going to have like ton, ton of REM stuff. I don't even know why. Cause I know, because like, Ram is the better character. Travis, do me some justice. Oh, well, of course, because again, red is better. Red is better. See, that one missed. This one <laughs> didn't. <laughs> oh, and it's blue. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> never get to beat you. <sighs> no, not the face hugger. I don't need to get pregnant before I go to the convention. Where are all these plushies coming from? <laughs> they were back there. You know what? We're ending this. Are there any figures you guys are excited about? Please let us know in the comment section below. And help us defeat those characters by hitting that like button, subscribe, become a ranger. And see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.